Could this be the end of Google's search dominance? ChatGPT just released Search GPT and I'm loving it. And I'm going to show you four ways to access it. But before we do that, let's look at the release article from their website. So as you can see the heading, introducing ChatGPT search. Get fast, timely answers with links to relevant web sources. And then they show some examples. And thereafter it says, ChatGPT can now search the web in a much better way than before. You can get fast, timely answers with the links to relevant web sources, which you would have previously needed to go to a search engine for. This blends the benefits of a natural language interface with the value of up-to-date sports, scores, news, stocks, and codes, and more. Then it states, ChatGPT will choose to search the web based on what you ask, or you can manually choose to search by clicking the web search icon. Please note that Search GPT is only available to paid users currently. But on their website, they do say that we'll roll out to all free users over the coming months. So that means everybody is going to get Search GPT. Now let's head into the four ways that you can access it and then we'll test it out as well. So the first option is from the web interface. So that's in your browser. If you just go to chatgpt.com, you can access search GPT. Then the second way is via the desktop app. Third is via the ChatGPT mobile app. If you stick around till the end of this video, I'll share the fourth way with you, which will definitely shock you as you will be able to replace your default search engine on your computer. Now let's test it out. Firstly, in ChatGPT, you will notice that you have an attach icon and then you have a search the web icon. And once you turn this on, that is when you activate GPT search. Now, as stated in the article, sometimes you won't need to toggle this on Depending on your query, search will automatically turn on. Now, one thing to keep in mind is GPT search is only available with GPT 4.0. If you try to use it with GPT 4.0 Canvas, you will notice that that option is grayed out. The same thing happens for 01 Preview and 01 Mini as well. So you will only be able to use this with GPT-4.0 and GPT-4.0 Mini. So I'm just typing in my name. So as you can see, it shows an image of me. Then it gives you an overview of me and it actually shows you the sources. And if I click at the bottom on sources, you will see this right pane opens up and I can scroll through all the sources. And this is actually pretty interesting because I didn't know that I was actually featured in some of these sites as well. Now let's try the best seafood in Durban. So Durban is a city in South Africa. And as you can see, it has shown me a map similar to Google Maps. And then I can scroll through the best seafood in Durban according to ChatGPT. Now, I'm pretty sure it's pulling this data from Bing because of their partnership with Microsoft. But I can also toggle this to list mode, which then makes it easier for me to view. Now, one thing which is interesting here is if I click on directions, it actually opens up in Google Maps. Now, I would have thought that it would have opened up in Bing Maps because of their partnership with Microsoft as well. And then the same thing here, if I click on sources, then on the right pane, I can see all the sources here. Now let's ask it to check the weather in Durban. And as you can see, it shows me the weather for Durban. Now it does show this in Fahrenheit. And here in South Africa, we actually use Celsius. So I would like it to actually use Celsius instead of Fahrenheit. But remember, this is the first iteration of Search GPT. So I'm pretty sure it's going to get even better over time. Now I'm asking it for the best attractions in Durban. And as you can see, it's showing me the images. It's showing me all the best attractions. And honestly, I'm enjoying these results. Let's now try something related to shopping. So I'm asking it for the cheapest Logitech master keys in South Africa. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't use location at the moment. So I have to state that I am looking for it in South Africa. But here again, it's making it so easy for me to find the cheapest Logitech master keys 
keyboard in South Africa. Now let's compare this to Google. So I did the exact same search in Google. Cheapest Logitech Master Keys South Africa. Now interestingly, firstly, it's only showing sponsored results. So that means these companies have paid to be here. The second thing is, I am looking for a keyboard, but the first two results are actually Logitech MX Master Mouse. And if you look closely, there are actually eight results here, but four of them are for keyboards and four of them are for the Logitech Mouse. So here, clearly, ChatGPT search is already better than Google search. Now, let me reveal the fourth way to access GPT search. You can actually download the ChatGPT search Chrome extension, and then this will give you the option of completely removing Google as your default search engine. Let me show you how it works. So in the URL bar, I am simply typing in my name again. And when I hit enter, it automatically brings me to ChatGPT. And from my experience so far, this process has been really quick. So that means I can now replace Google search, even though I am using Google Chrome as my web browser. With ChatGPT and also Perplexity AI going in heavy on search, Google needs to wake up because it looks like their search monopoly is coming to an end. I personally prefer the search experience of Perplexity AI and also now Search GPT compared to the traditional Google search experience. With Perplexity, I use it for lots of research, but now with Search GPT, I can even do shopping without using Google's search engine at all. I would love to know what you think, so test it out and give me your feedback. For those of you who are on my free live training yesterday on YouTube or Facebook, in there I mentioned that ChatGPT was preparing for Search GPT, but I didn't know that it was actually going to be released today. And if you want even more free AI live training, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the like button if you found this video useful. And if you want to learn more about AI and marketing, then check out this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.